Today I'm going to show you an issue I had with my Ender 3. What's going on here is that it's trying to print off of the bed. And so now I'm in the homing routine and this is the first or second point and look how far back it is on the bed. And that's not right. Point one is over here. And so we're I'm going to have my finger ready on the power switch to shut this off because I don't want to destroy my stepper motors or... Whoop. Okay, all right. So that's the failure. I shut it off quickly. And uh, let me show you uh, what the problem is. What I'm wondering here is if this limit switch back here is not uh, working properly. Right back here. This one, right there. It'll we'll work it a couple of times. Because uh, when it goes like this, you can hear it click. And it will help determine this home position. And then there's another limit switch right here. And so sometimes, you know, maybe sticking. And then if this doesn't work, oh, there it is right there. I just found the problem. So that came unplugged. Aha! That means that it could not tell. So it kept going and going and going. So let's plug that back in. That is the issue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a good click. That was not working. Okay, let's try homing again and see if we can get this to home to the right place. Very good. Let's try printing again. Alright, we'll put this card in and run through the uh, bed leveling and we'll know right away. If it tries to bed level back there, then we know it failed. But I'm pretty certain it'll work this time. That's a good sign. There we go. There we go. Now there's point one. Okay. That is how it's supposed to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so now it'll work properly. So there's a simple fix. And uh, if you're having issues with this, first thing you should do is look at those limit switch connections. And if the connections are good, then you need to take a meter and make sure that the switch actually works. And if that's the case, take this off, unplug it, of course, and check the connections at the motherboard and also check the wiring to make sure that when you flip the switch in there that it actually has continuity back here in the wiring. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to tear mine apart. But that one little switch caused a lot of problems and I never noticed it. It was just a loose connection. All right, here's the last point. Let's see if it will print. Perfect. Now it's printing in the center of the bed like it's supposed to. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.